It's a popular saying in today's world that we should learn to work smarter, not harder. Now exactly what does this mean? Well, this is where the whole concept of leverage comes in. Archimedes, who was a, an ancient Greek mathematician and philosopher, once said, give me a lever long enough and a fulcrum on which to place it, and I shall move the world. Leverage simply lets you get more done in less time, more effectively, using less money. Now, there are basically five kinds of leverage that are important for network marketers and home business entrepreneurs. One of these is time leverage, which allows you to get more done in less time by utilizing the efforts of other people on your behalf. For example, outsourcing the creation of a website, or outsourcing having articles written, or the creation of a marketing campaign, and so forth. Others put in the effort, thus freeing you up to do other things. There is people leverage, which basically allows you to multiply your efforts through the efforts of other people. Now, as network marketers, we're pretty familiar with this one. For example, let's say you have 10 people in your downline, and each of them makes 10 presentations each day of the business opportunity. What this, in effect, means is that every day, 100 presentations are happening of, of uh, your business opportunity in your organization. This is probably many more than you would be able to make yourself in a single day. Then there's money leverage. This is often talked about as utilizing other people's money to help you purchase something or acquire something that you need or want. Uh, most frequently this is done like through a loan or through uh, a credit card. But another form of money leverage is uh, investments that start paying you a dividend, such as a mutual fund, or maybe a real estate investment, or a royalty on something that you've created. And then there's creativity leverage, and this is riding on the back of other people's creative ideas, products, insights, and so forth, and then tweaking them to make them your own to help you, do, uh, to help you achieve something you're trying to accomplish. You know, there's a popular saying, no need to reinvent the wheel. Uh, that, that means you don't have to come up with everything on your own. But it is important to make sure that you give credit where credit is due when you've borrowed someone else's ideas. And then finally, there's technology leverage, and this is probably one of the most important yet unexplored forms of leverage for network marketers today. This is, uh, what this means is leveraging the Internet. You know, never before has it been possible to reach the four corners of the world with the push of a button at the speed of cyberspace uh, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. You know, on the internet, you set something up once, and it continues to work for you forever until you decide to take it down. Now, in the training that I do with my downline, and uh, tr uh, mentoring and coaching I do with other home business entrepreneurs, I focus almost exclusively on leveraging the internet. Uh, the other forms of leverage are pretty much handled by the very nature of network marketing itself. But here's my quickie list of how to use the internet to build your business. You need to have your own website. Now this is not a replicated company site. This is a site that is promoting you and letting people know about the benefits of working with you. You need to have an autoresponder so that you can automatically stay in touch with your leads and your prospects. You need to have some products, your own or affiliate products that you can promote. And this is to provide you with a cash flow for your business starting day one. You need to know how to set up and execute effective email campaigns. You need to know how to create lead capture pages or squeeze pages so that you can get people to join your list. You need to have a merchant account and an online shopping cart so that it is easy, easy, easy for people to purchase products or services from you. And you should know how to create a blog so that you can provide a regular flow of information for your leads and your prospects. And you need to know how to market your business using the social media through such things as Twitter, MySpace, Facebook, Better Networker, and the like. Now, don't let this list overwhelm you. It's really not as difficult as it seems. And I'm here to help you. Just remember that in today's technological world, Marketing your business and growing your business using the Internet is not just an option. 